What up everybody? Instructor Boots back again talking today about multiplying a three-digit factor by a two-digit factor using the standard algorithm. This is our fourth video in our multiplication playlist uh, series on how to multiply with the standard algorithm. So please check out our other ones. Please check out our standard algorithm song if you haven't yet. And let's get right into the objective. So today you should be able to multiply a three-digit factor by a two-digit factor by using the standard algorithm. So we went over these steps in our last video, but we're going to use the same steps. How do I multiply big numbers? First, you line up the digits and go from right to left. When you have multiplied the ones place by all the digits on the top factor, you cross out, add your zero, and erase anything that you have already carried or regrouped. And then you do the next digit moving from right to left. So. What is the product of 365 and 76? So first of all, the product, right, we know means multiplication. So I'm going to do 365. I put my bigger number on top using my commutative. Actually, I don't even need my commutative property for this one. And then I start with the digit in my ones place, and I go from right to left. So 6 times 5 is 30. I'm going to regroup my 3 and circle it. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 3 is 39. Again, regroup in the 3. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 would be 21. I have a digit in the tens place, and I have multiplied all the digits on my top factor by the digits in my ones place. Digit in my ones place. So I'm going to cross out, add your 0, and erase anything that you regroup, because you're basically starting a new problem here. So now we're multiplying 7 by 365 up top, again going from right to left, but we know this is really a 70, so we have to put our 0 here because 3 times 5 is 35, but really it's 70 times 5, which makes it 350. So we have to put our 0 right here to remember that. So going from right to left, 7 times 5 is 35. Now this part right here is a little confusing for some people. Sometimes they want to regroup the 3 over my hundreds place because they're kind of confused where to regroup it. You always regroup it to the place value next or to the left of the number on top. So yeah, the seven's in the tens place, but you just multiplied that by five. So we're going to regroup the three next to the five over the six. And so now I multiply, then add seven times six is 42 plus three is 45. Very helpful to know your basic facts. I'm going to regroup my 4 and circle it. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 25. And then I'm going to add up my products. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 5 is 14. Carry 1, circle it. That's going to be 7, 7, and 2. So my product is 27,740. So go ahead and do the you try. You can pause the video, try it out, and then check your answer. Make sure you use commutative property to write your bigger factor on top. So hopefully you just checked this out and you tried it. So we're going to do it 264 times 48. And I'm going to do 8 times 4, which is 32. Carry my 3 and circle it. 8 times 6, which is 48, plus 3, which is 51. So regroup my 5 and circle it. 8 times 2, which is 16, plus 5, which is 21. Now, I've multiplied all the digits on top by the digits in my ones place. So I cross out, add my 0, and erase. So now I want to do my digits in the tens place, which again is why I had to add that 0 here. So 4 times 4 is 16. Carry my 1 and circle it. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Carry my 2 and circle it, or regroup. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10, and now I've multiplied all the digits up top by the digits in my tens place for my bottom factor, so all I need to do is add these together. So I have 6, 2, and 1, and so your answer or your product should be 12,672. If you feel confident and you're ready to try some on your own, go ahead and stop and work on whatever your teacher would like you to. If not, and you're not there yet, then you can Go ahead and keep watching for another practice problem. So we have our last problem right here. We have 639 times 57. So I'm going to go ahead and put my bigger factor on top and do my 639. And I'm going to multiply that by my factor 57. Okay, and I'm going to multiply starting with my ones place and go from right to left. 
Start my ones place and my bottom factor. 7 times 9 is 63. So I'm going to regroup my 6 over here and circle it. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 6 is 27. Regroup my 2 and circle it. 7 times 6 is 42, plus my 2 is 44. I've multiplied all the digits up top by the digit in my ones place for my bottom factor. So I'm going to cross out, add your 0, and erase. So I have a tens place in my bottom factor. So now I'm going to multiply that 5, which again is a 50, which is kind of why we put that 0 down there. And so 5 times 9 would be 45, which again is 450, again why we have the 0. But I'm going to regroup my 4 over my tens place. Remember you regroup to the digit, or sorry, to the place value left of the digit in the, um, the place value in the top factor that you just multiplied by. So now we're going to multiply right here with our tens place. So 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is 19, carry your 1 and circle it. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. And so now I'm going to add these together, add my two products together. So I have 3, 7 plus 5 is 12, regroup your 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 9 is 14, regroup your 1. I have 5, 6, nothing there, so just a 3. And the product is 36,423. As always, please check us out on YouTube at Instructed Beats Official. Please subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. You can check out our standard algorithm song, which will help you kind of remember the steps to do. And you can always check out our other instructional videos if you want to review or learn different ways to multiply. Instructed Beats, out!